few people have been asking me uh, what happens when my bucket isn't very accurate. So as you can see here, if I put my bucket down onto the ground, crowd it all the way out, I'm just going to put it on the ground and set that as a zero, right about there, change it to the middle of my bucket, real good, I might just run a good spot there. I crowd my bucket onto a level position, put it right back on that same spot. You can immediately see that it's 10 centimeters out. So that's a bit of a concern. So how do we check it? Well, the first thing that we need to check is, is it actually the bucket or is it the boom and the dipper that is out? So the way that we do that is we set up the tripod. Hopefully you can see that there. So I've got my tripod out in front of the excavator with my laser pointer on and on the dipper pin of the bucket there you can see I've got my zoom out on there a bit you can see that I've got my uh, target tube from the installation kit so what that enables us to do is set a, a ghost bucket so what does a ghost bucket mean well a ghost bucket is something that looks a bit like this so what you want to do is you want to go to system settings and calibrate a new bucket uh, we're on the quick link and straight away just go up here in the right hand corner go to manual mode now what we're going to do is we want the iDig to think that the cutting edge of the bucket is right on the dipper pin we want to eliminate the bucket from this test at all so what we're going to do is we're going to make that 0.1 of a centimeter or you want it essentially one mil hit next and then the width of the bucket we can just have that as a one centimeter doesn't really matter now of course you just need to make sure that your sensor is installed on the correct side so we're on the left side here and then we just hit next we don't have to worry about any of the horizontal position or the offset of the bucket sensor we don't care about that we just care about the position so now my new bucket is up here showing from the one that I had on here so now what we want to do is we're going to with our laser pointer we're going to put that dot right onto the pin that we've got it uh, at the bottom of the dipper there with the target tube so I'm going to go ahead and do that so there's the red dot the eye dig is now thinking that that is the cutting edge of the bucket so we're going to set that as our zero so as we move in and out the position of the boom and the dipper we want a good result by of course that dot reappearing right on the edge there and what does our screen say so as you can see there it's fluctuating on quite a big machine here so it's fluctuating between one and zero so we're pretty much bang on there so I'm confident that our boom and dipper calibration is correct so there's obviously something going on with the bucket so let's just have a closer look at what's happening with the bucket here so we're going to change back to that bucket calibration which we're having a bit of trouble with digging bucket so we're back at our digging bucket and what we want to do is we're going to put the laser pointer on the tripod and we're going to get that dot right on one of the cutting edges of these teeth now it's going to be a bit tricky because it's really sunny and teeth are pointy and I can't quite see it there it is it's pretty much right on the end of one of those teeth so let's just set that as a zero and roll it all the way out and we're almost there I can see we're already out by a good amount all right so the tooth is back on the red dot and our eye dig is saying that we're five centimeters difference and I know that that's level because we're on the laser pointer so we're gonna to have to recalibrate that bucket but that's just a really quick way to check whether it's your boom and dipper that's playing up or whether it's the bucket go in and create that test bucket use your tripod laser pointer and target tube and just give everything a quick check with the test bucket and then compare it against your normal bucket so I'm confident that my boom and dip is all right but yeah there's definitely a problem with that bucket so I'm gonna go and recalibrate that bucket and we'll check it again Okay, so 
so let's go and calibrate this new bucket. Okay, on the quick link, up here, go to manual mode. And the length was 206, next width 116, next on the left side. And now comes the tricky bit. When I'm by myself, I like to just touch the plumb bob into the dirt just to stop it swinging around. Gently roll it in until those teeth are in line with the string. Now with a big digging bucket with big teeth like this, I'm never going to expect to get super super accurate because each one of these teeth is a different length and they're on a slightly different angle but let's just jump out and have a quick look and see how close we are there. I think it looks pretty good. So I think that looks pretty good there. Let's jump back in, set that offset and check the accuracy. Alright, let's lock that in. Check the accuracy. So I've got the laser dot pretty close to the end of that tooth so I'm going to set that as a zero with my new newly calibrated bucket and let's roll it all the way in and see how we go. Alright so I've rolled it in and I'm liking this calibration already. We're pretty much on the money there. Now for the last check let's roll it all the way out and see what happens. Alright so we're fluctuating just between one and zero which is great let's go and have a look at the edge of the bucket and see what the dot says perfect pretty happy with that right on the edge of that tooth looking pretty good so just all you need is your laser pointer and your tripod as well as the target tube nice big magnet on the end of the dipper pin there and your plumb bob very easy to calibrate new buckets and to check the accuracy. I think that'll be it for today and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys, see you later.